Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel, Farmer Drone. As a former pilot and a drone enthusiast, I've been waiting a long time to make a video just like this one. The agricultural drone industry is here now and it's only going to get a lot bigger. So here's my first video of the ag business as I follow along with AP drone applications into the agricultural drone business. Kind of make sure everything's in order in here before I go. So this is a Parker 2620. Yeah. And it come on a running gear. The it running looks gear. to be about two or three hundred bushel. Yeah, so it's um, six pro boxes is what we've put in it. And that's pretty much max. Uh, five tons of fertilizer. Okay, so you've yeah, got so five I'd say a five ton hopper. No, two. One and two. Two hoppers, okay. Yeah. And you would put fertilizer and seed in or? Yeah, mostly just one of everything. Like usually we don't have enough capacity to put two different types in. Okay. So mostly when we're doing fertilizer, we're just doing fertilizer. And when we're doing seed, we're just doing seed. And that's it. We've dropped into the client's farm just for a few minutes to pick up the seed for the cover crop planting. And yeah, we go. And then we're gonna, then we'll fly a full perimeter first for a map. Okay. And I'll mark all the map points on there, and then uh, should be good. <laughs> so that's what we're doing here today with the beans being yellowing. They're getting ready for the leaves to fall here. Yeah. So if we can get the seed in before the leaves fall. Then the leaves fall on the seed and act as a natural canopy fertilizer, like planting them almost, and that'll help the seed germinate. It kind of sucks. We'd like to see a bit of rain in the coming week, but we're not going to. So this will be a good test to see what that does for us, but there's a lot of morning dew, which is in our favor as well. So hopefully that all plays together and helps this seed take off for us. The Mavic 3 drone that I am flying has a realistic flight time of about 34 minutes. This DJI Model T40 drone has a flight time of 6 to 12 minutes depending on the load it's carrying and the job it's performing. Although this seems like a relatively short amount of time, the drone was able to unload 130 pounds of seed in only a few minutes while covering a substantial amount of land. Although the agricultural drone can cover about half the distance a 90-foot self-propelled sprayer does per hour, 
The total investment is about one-tenth the cost of a self-propelled sprayer. Just like the airline industry, no one makes any money when an aircraft is parked on the ground. I was really impressed with the turnaround time on this T-40 agricultural drone, which was seldom on the ground for any more than one or one and a half minutes. So my impression of the actual amount of productivity time was very high. I have personally flown an awful lot of drones over the last six years. Some of the original DJI Mavic Pros and later on the Phantom models I thought were quite noisy while in the air. I have to tell you this DJI T40 drone is dead quiet. You can hardly hear the drone operate even from a distance of 50 or 75 feet. Beyond 100 feet you can't hear a thing. The sound of the generator recharging the batteries was far louder than the drone itself. Between telephone poles, telephone wires and guy wires, it was quite a challenge trying to film this drone. Looking forward to more open fields next time. Drone operation like this certainly attracts the curious. I don't recall the exact amount of time to recharge a battery on this drone, but I think it was in the five or seven minute range. The battery is quickly swapped and the drone is ready to go back to work. Well thanks for watching my first agricultural drone video and my thanks to Austin at AP Drone Applications for allowing me to film. Subscribe if you enjoyed this video and stand by for a lot more. May the sun always shine on your crops.